a video on the last of the apples I've got from my sister's apple tree. So I'm curious, I'm going to juice them, but I'm curious to see if um, I can get the pectin out of either the skin or the cores. Just out of interest. I think most of the pectin comes from um, the actual flesh rather than, the, rather than the, the skin or the cores. But I'm just kind of quite curious um, because normally if you're going to peel an apple, you throw away the, the, um, the skins and you throw away the core. And I kind of think if we can extract some pectin from that, I think that kind of ticks a lot of boxes for me because it, it kind of um, cuts down on the waste. I'll show you how much pectin I've collected from, my, from the apples that I've juiced. So that's all the pectin that I collected from the apples that I was juicing from my sister's tree. So there's loads of pectin there. It's gone a little bit brown because the, uh, of the oxidization of the, of the apple juice um, that I extracted it from. But it's a pretty straightforward process. You just puree apples down and then the pectin settles, uh, puree the apples down, we'll juice them and then um, the pectin collect the juice and then the pectin collects at the bottom of the juice and then you just kind of pour the juice off and then you dry it out and you're left up with this pectin which you can use for all things pectiny. Um, so there, so that's it. I'm, so I'm going to peel I'll do it off camera. I'm going to peel them and core them. I'm going to uh, puree the peels and puree the cores separately, um, just out of interest, rather than putting them all together and uh, and pureeing that to get the juice out. I'm just kind of quite curious. Uh, that's all. So it's uh, for my own interest um, more than anything. So we're back when I'm pureeing them down. Let's give this a go. So the cores. We'll probably get some pectin out of this because it's got quite a, got quite a bit of flesh on. I couldn't be bothered going through them too uh, fastidiously. Uh, and then we've got the uh, peelings there. We'll probably need to add some water to that. So we'll see how we go. see this do you uh, me puring things down let's just um, we'll pause and we'll be back when I'm filtering right so cloth in a sieve only just so it sits I'm only using that just so uh, the cloth doesn't fall into the uh, jug and then these are the uh, peelings so I've had to add a little bit of water because there just wasn't enough juice in them to puree down there's always a bit of a problem. I normally add, when I'm juicing things like apples, I normally add um, some um, vitamin C tablets just to kind of keep the colour. But I'm not that bothered about that today. So, it's a lovely green colour. Yeah, so the, for some reason, the... Um, the colour is kept. Um, it doesn't brown as easy if you use um, vitamin C tablets. I suppose you could use citric acid or lemon, uh, but the only problem is that that changes the acidity level of the apple juice. And you don't want it too acidic. You want it to be able to be drinkable. So squeeze most of the juice out of there, and then we'll use the same cloth. Get rid of those bits in there. Out of the way, and then we'll use the same cloth to do the cores, which have already started to go brown. Look at that colour on that. So the cores have already started to go brown, but not that bothered. It's only just me playing around and doing something out of my own interest. The idea of of getting something for nothing, or something like the like the apple peels and cores, you just kind of put on the um, on the compost, but 
if you can collect pectin out of them or uh, as I've tried in the past to um, get uh, uh, like a like a cider vinegar um, starter out of them uh, that kind of stuff really appeals to me you know and then you can and then you put the uh, the vegetable waste on the compost after you've got pectin out of it and turned it into a a um, apple cider vinegar mother or turned it into apple cider vinegar or extracted juice out of them and fermented it and made an alcohol and then turned it into a cider but anyway so you get the idea of what I'm doing I'm squeezing as much juice out of this as possible and then we'll see if any pectin settles to the bottom of the juice which will, I'll leave them overnight in the fridge um, just to kind of see what happens so do you need to see any more no but I'll just have to quickly wash my hands turn the camera off so I'm, I'll squeeze more out of it but you get the idea so you look how brown that is compared to that so but interesting isn't it really the green obviously comes from the green skin um, and then the brown is the oxidization of the uh, flesh rather than it being bad or anything like that but so we'll leave these overnight probably pour them in something smaller and we'll see if we get any pectin collecting uh, in the morning right it's been two days actually um, I got wrapped up in something else so they've been in the fridge two days and so they've completely settled um, this was the peelings and this one was the cores so just out of my own interest um, I turned the um, actual apple flesh I juiced it and I made some apple juice and it stayed that colour so I kind of think that the apples were a little bit riper and um, just using the flesh has given me a non-brown apple juice because it normally discolours a little bit I kind of just think it's down to using the vitamin C tablets but that's just kind of out of interest and maybe next year we'll kind of uh, have a, 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 a faff around with that but I can't bother doing any more apples there is some more on my sister's tree but I can't be bothered uh, going over and picking any more so let's see what we've got I'm going to drink this apple juice. let's just taste it first See this one, ah right, okay, so this, I put water in this one, didn't I? It's two days ago, I've kind of forgotten. Was it two days ago? Okay, so, yeah, yeah. That taste of apple, but not very, very apple-y. So we'll pour this off. I know what pectin looks like at the bottom of apple, so we'll be able to, we'll be able to pour that into a, I'm sure that's pectin. That, that looks like it's pectin. And let's pour this off into here. I don't need to taste. Tastes alright. I'll drink it. So there we go. It looks like we've got pectin in both the bottom of those. Right. Fresh spoon. have lots of washing up to do so yeah that definitely looks like pectin in the bottom of there just hasn't quite it's not just the sediment I'm sure that's pectin yeah it's got a little bit of grain to it Yeah, this pack, yeah, so we've collected pectin from both the cores and from the skin, which is kind of interesting. Um, obviously, the cooking apples that I get from my mum's neighbour's tree um, hasn't got a, like, a, a particularly high content of pectin in it, but it goes to show that my sister's apples have got a, a, a lot of pectin in them. So this is this is all the pectin that I collected from my... Um, from the apples from my sister's tree there's loads of pectin in there so it looks like there's sufficiently more pectin in that tree than my mum's neighbour's tree so obviously the varieties of apples have different amounts of pectin in them 
Don't know why, don't know, I don't know that. But anyway, so I know that uh, out of interest um, that we can collect pectin from cores and, and what we call it, and, uh, and skin. So there we go. Is that interesting? Yes. To me, it is yes. Uh, it goes to show that we can uh, turn something which is essentially a waste product and get something even more useful out of it. So I did the experiment before where I took the the score, the score, uh, the, the the course and the skin from the cooking apples, and I juiced them, and then I um, tried to ferment. I tried to turn, tried to turn them into apple cider vinegar. It didn't work, uh, but I could extract the juice and I could ferment that, and that would, that would ferment into alcohol. Not ferment into cider, and then it would ferment into uh, white wine uh, cider vinegar. Not white wine vinegar, cider vinegar. So I could. If I really wanted to peel and core the apples from my sister's tree, I could then juice them, extract the juice, turn that juice in either into cider uh, or and then turn it into a vinegar. And I can also collect the pectin out of it, and then the apples then can go onto the, um, the compost. And I will I will have kind of like having like more bites of the cherry type of thing. But anyway, so interesting to me. Probably interesting to someone out there. I'm not entirely sure who though.